hey guys you're welcome back to the channel my name is lillian and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this very stylish jumpsuit so if this is something you're interested in learning do watch this video to the end kindly subscribe to my channel if you're here to and also give this video a thumbs up so that youtube will push my video to a wider audience now we are going to firstly begin with the trouser parts as you can see i folded my fabric into two for this tutorial i'll be using two yards of fabric but if you want yours to turn out exactly like the video on my right the other video then you should be using at least three yards of fabric but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using two yards of fabric so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two i'm checking to know how how much it stretches so the fabric stretches both ways so i'm just going to go ahead and fold it either way into two and then the edges are not um, aligning so i'm going to like mark out an imaginary line so that that imaginary line will serve as the starting point of my measurement i just took half inch in inwards for my imaginary line because one of my lines is straight and the other one isn't straight so i took half inch inwards and then i'm going to rule um my straight line and this becomes my imaginary line sorry the chalk i'm using for this imaginary line is actually not very visible but then after this i will be discarding the chalk and getting another one yeah so what i'm actually drawing right now is the imaginary line this will start serve as the starting point of my my measurement so now that the imaginary line is done we're going to go ahead and measure the length of our trouser first now you know how to get the length of your trouser you're going to divide your full length minus you're going to subtract your half length from your full length and then what you have left will be the length of your trouser now when you're making a jumpsuit always add three inches extra to what you have left to the full length of your trouser yes always add three inches so that your jumpsuit will like flow very well so in this case that three inches that i'm going to add i'm just going to use it for the design so i'm going to be using the exact um measurement that is my full length minus my half length i'm going to be using what i have to do this trouser part then whatever extra that i need to have i will like add it um when i'm like doing that design that usually has so the top is my waistline and then what i just marked out right now is the lap measurement the length of my lap yeah and that is also the crotch length so the distance from the waist to this lap is 13 inches so if you're making a jumpsuit and you're like a size medium or large you should use 13 inches but if you're more than large you should use 14 inches so at the lap measurement, I'm going to impute my lap measurement plus 4 inches. So my lap measurement is 26 divided by 2, which is 13. So 13 plus 2, because that 20, um, that's 4 inches, extra 4 inches, you're also going to divide it by 2. So let's just say my lap measurement is 26 plus 4, which is 30 inches. Then 30 divided by 2, which is um 15 inches so at the lap i measured 15 inches and then i went in by two inches and that is what i used to get the crotch length so the crotch length what i actually did here is lap is 15 inches i went in by two and then i marked out my crotch length and then at the waistline i also measured um something that would give me a straight line running from the lap to the waistline so at the crotch length, I just came up by 2 inches and that 2 inches will serve as the curve. You know that curve you usually have at the crotch area? Yeah, these 2 inches is going to serve as the curve. So whatever thing I have there, I'm also going to go ahead and come to the full length and I'm going to place it. So what I'm going to be placing at the full length is also what I placed at the waistline, which is 13 inches, 15 
minus 2, the 2 inches we went in at the lap line, 13 inches. So that 13 inches is also what I'm going to place at the full length. And I'm going to come up here and use this place as my knee. Although I do not mark, I did not mark out my, my knee line. But I'm just going to come here and use this top part as my knee. I'm also going to mark out 13 inches there. Also going to mark out 13 inches there and then I'm going to get um, my straight ruler and connect connect it from the imaginary knee to the full length and then I'm going to get my curve ruler. I'm going to get my curve ruler and connect it from the lap line to the imaginary knee. Please do not just follow my explanation, just follow what you see me do. So um, you can add pockets to these, or because my fabric will not be enough, I'll be skipping the um, pocket part. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. As you can see, I did not input my waist measurement, and then I also added allowance for the lap measurement. This is because we are going to gather it at the waist so we do not need our waist to be perfectly shaped we need to have enough allowance for shaping you can use if you want to achieve the original um the original style you need more than this measurement you need to add more than four inches to your lap you can add as much as 10 inches to your lap measurement but because my fabric i have limited fabric which is the reason why i'm trying to manage my fabric so i added four inches So always identify the wrong part of your fabric from the right side of your fabric. Now everything we have left, the fabric we have left from the, um, after we cut out the front pattern, we're going to use it to cut out the, the back pattern. So now I'm arranging the fabric on the table and then I'm going to be using the front fabric to, the front pattern to cut out the, the back pattern or what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick one of the front pattern i'm going to pick one and i'm going to lay it on top of the fabric for the for the back and then as you can see after laying it down you're going to make sure that you have a little you have some allowance towards the crotch area that allowance you're going to be making use of it so as you can see, I've matched the bottom. The bottom is touching the bottom of the fabric. I've matched the bottom and everything is like laid down perfectly. And then I have, I have this allowance towards the crotch area. So that two inches that we went in by, we are going to bring it out. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out my two inches outwards. I'm going to extend the line then for the waistline the back waistline I'm going to come up by one inch and then I'm going to slide it into the sides I'm going to slant it into the side seam then the next thing i'm going to do is to also slant um, from the waistline to the tip of my front crotch crotch line yeah from the front this front pattern from the crotch line i'm going to slant it from there up to the waist after that i'm going to come up by the same two inches what i did for the front i'm going to come up by two inches and i'm going to give it a nice curve And the next thing we want to do right now is to add our zipper allowance. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to add one inch at the waistline, the back waistline. I'm going to extend this line. And then I'm going to bring it down to meet the curve area. I'm 
And yeah, guys, we already have our zipper allowance. Now to add our general um, trouser allowance, I'm going to be taking these two inches all the way down. I'm going to be adding two inches all the way till I get to the bottom. And just like you did for the front, you're going to be using your curve ruler to connect it. okay guys so this would be all for the back pattern we're going to go ahead and cut it out i'm sorry for my poor lighting today um yeah the I wasn't supposed to film this tutorial, but I just had to. So um, I do apologize for the poor lighting. So I've gone ahead to like differentiate the wrong pattern of my fabric from the right pattern of my fabric. And this would be all for the trouser. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to um, cut out the point where we want the design to be so i'm going to get the second front pattern and i'm going to place it on top of the the other patterns i'm going to match all of them together the two back and the two fronts match all of them together and then i'm going to be using you can use whatever measurement you want here at this point so i wanted to use 10 inches but then i went ahead to use 12 inches then for the original video she had two steps so you can do 12 inches and 6 inches but for me and for because i'm managing my fabric i'm going to be using only one step so yeah i just went i went up by by 12 inches and i am going to cut it out So like I said, be flexible. You can do whatever thing you want or what your client wants. You can either do 12 inches divided by 2, which is 12 and 6. You can also do um, 15 inches divided by 2, which is 15 and 7 and half. Or you can do 16 and 8. Yeah, so do whatever works for you. Okay, so now that we're done, we're going to set it aside and then we're going to draw the pattern for the upper part. Now my half length is 16, so I'm going to be placing my tape at 16. I'm going to be placing uh, my tape on the pattern paper. Look at it, I'm placing the bottom at 16. And then I'm going to mark out 13 inches for the underbust. I'll mark out 10 inches for the bust point and 16 inches for the upper bust point, upper bust, yes, upper chest line. And that would be all because this is an off shoulder dress. So the same thing, I'm marking out 13 inches, 10 inches and 6 inches, the same lines that I marked out before. Now I'm going to be extending this um, line from one end of the pattern paper to the other end. <laughs> This is because I'll be doing both the front and the back pattern using this pattern paper. Now 
now this is my upper chest line this is my bust point and this is my under bust and the bottom part is my waistline and the next thing i'm going to be marking out is my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches I'm going to be marking out four inches for my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple is eight inches divided by two, which is four inches. And then I'm going to be taking one inch from both sides of the under bust and also one inch from both sides of the upper chest line. And also one inch again from the both sides of the waist. I'm going to use my ruler to connect the line from the underboss to the waistline and my curve ruler to connect the line from the um, upper chest line to the underboss. So you're going to place your curve in a way that you find what works best for you. So the next thing we want to get now is the armhole measurements. So I'm placing my tape again at minus 6, which is where I started. And I'm going to go down by 8 inches for the um, armhole measurement. So it's more like I, I came down by 2 inches. If I'm measuring, if I'm measuring like from 1 inch, yeah. So it's more like I came down by 2 inches. But actually what I did was I placed my tape at minus 6. And then I came down by 2 inches for the armhole, which is 8 inches. And then at the upper chest line, I'm going to measure my shoulder measurement divided by 2. I'm going to impute it right there. And then I'm going to get my curve ruler and I'm going to give it a very nice curve. Now it is time for us to impute our body measurements. Okay, before we do that, we're going to be giving this a curve. Now this one, what you're going to do is use your ruler, be flexible with your ruler, use your ruler in such a way that you get um, the nice shape that you want, whatever type of shape that you want. Yeah, so that is what I'm trying to get right here. I'm trying to get the kind of shape that I want okay now I'm imputing my body measurements my bust divided by four and I'm do, I'm not adding any allowance to this at the on at the waistline I'm going to add my waist measurement divided by four plus the two inches that that we took out which is seven and a half plus two, which is nine and a half. I'm going to impute it right there and I'm going to use my ruler to connect the both lines. After connecting the both lines, as you can see, I'm having an overage towards the upper part. So I'm going to get my curve ruler and I'm going to see what I can do about it to give it a better curve. so i'm still trying to like maneuver and do something about this curve so i'm going to get my curve ruler and i'm going to redraw my curve okay now i think i've gotten the curve that i want so i'm going to go ahead and eliminate the other line now this is my center front i'm going to cut it on fold and this is my side front you can also call it pattern one and pattern two
okay now that we're done we're going to go ahead and um draw our back pattern so here i'm going to impute my i wanted to impute my nipple to nipple but firstly i'm going to impute um my zipper allowance so because i'm going to be i'm not because i'm cutting this on pattern i'm going to be using half inch allowance for the zipper allowance this is because while cutting it on fabric i'm also going to add extra half inch allowance which will make it a total of one inch allowance so after marking out the half inch zipper allowance i'm going to mark out my four inches nipple to nipple measurement and i'm going to bring it down now my measurements for the back is starting from the armhole line then after that at the bust point i'm going to impute my bust measurement divided by four and then at the waistline i'm going to impute my waist measurement divided by four and i'm going to use my ruler to connect it I'm connecting I'm connecting it to the um bust point and then at the armhole line what I'm going to do is at the armhole line what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding exactly um the bust measurement I have here I'm also going to be extending it to the um to the back to the armhole line and I'm going to connect it in a straight line the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I do not want the armpit of my dress to be looking like a shovel. I want it to hug me properly. So that's the reason why I did it this way. So at the back measurement, at the center back, I'm going to go up towards the zipper area by one inch. And I'm going to be slanting that one inch into the side seam. This is going to eliminate any pocket and it is also going to match the one inch allowance we went up by when we were cutting the trouser and this is all for the back pattern we're going to go ahead and cut it out center back and side back and also we're going to cut out the the front pattern So yeah, these are all our patterns and this is what they look like. Okay, now I've gone ahead to cut the patterns out on fabric and as you can see, this is what they look like. I added my half inch allowance all the way round, even towards the zipper area and I cut the center fabric on fold, the center front on fold. And I also cut out two pieces for each of them that is to serve me as both the lining and the main fabric. And this is what I have left from the two yards of fabric. This is what I have left. So I'm going to manage this to cut out the straps and also the designs that I want to add at the trouser. Okay, so these are my straps now. I cut out something of a length of 15 inches by two and a half. I'm going to fold them together and I'm going to sew it and turn it over. Now for the designs that I, I want to add at the bottom, I cut out a rectangle, a rectangle of five inches by three. Yeah, I cut out a rectangle of five inches by three or by three and a half. This is what I cut out and I'm going to go ahead and also sew it and turn it over. Now it is time for us to join um, our patterns together. As you can see, the center, front, the center front, I cut out two of it. Then the other ones that are in pieces, I cut out four of each of them. So I'm going to get the center front. And I'm going to get the the side front. I'm going ahead to like mark out the to differentiate the front the right side of the fabric from the front from the wrong side of the fabric. 
so i'm going to go ahead and place the both of them at the sides of the center front and i'm going to join it together and then after joining it i'm going to get the side front and the side back the side no i'm going to get the side back and the center back and i'm also going to join um, them together you know you pick one center center back and you pick one side back and you join the both of them and then you go ahead and join the other one I like to give a notch at the zipper allowance area this is so that i actually know where my zipper allowance stands and it also helps me to know where the um the top of the back um pattern is yeah it differentiates the top from the bottom So after this you're going to match this and you're going to sew and you're going to sew leaving the zipper allowance open so i'm going to sew all the fabrics and now this is what i have after sewing i also um ironed my seams open because knit work is everything so these are the back patterns as you can see i have four of them and now these are the front patterns as you can see i have two of them so at the line, I'm going to pick one that I want to call the lining and I'm going to be adding my cups to it because I'm making a strapless dress. I'm making a strap dress. So when I'm doing that, I always like to add my cups so that I wouldn't wear bra afterwards. So now I've attached my cups. The next thing I'm going to do now is to attach my back um, pattern to my front. So this is it. I'm placing the both of them right side on each other and I'm going to sew the sides using half inch allowance. Now that I've sewn the sides, this is what I have here. I have the main fabric and I have the lining. The lining is the one that carries the cup. The next thing I'm adding is the straps. So the strap, I'm adding it at the nipple to nipple line, but not at the center. For the front, I'm adding it um at the nipple to nipple line towards the armhole area and then for the back i'm also adding it at the that line towards the zipper area okay so this is it i'm going to go ahead and run um and tack it um on my machine and then after tacking it i'm going to use the front fabric the lining fabric to cover it up put the straps inside and then you're going to sew the tops so after sewing it you're going to turn it over and this is what we have after sewing it we've turned it over and this is what we are having as you can see now it is time for us to work on this so i'm going to fold the this towards the rectangle area i'm going to fold it and i'm going to sew it after sewing it i'm going to iron it and turn it over and iron again and these are what i have all of them i have 12 in total and then 12 will lead me to like six for each leg yeah so i'm going to separate it i'm going to be using six pieces for each leg and the other six for the other leg now it is time for us to attach it to to the to the trouser okay firstly we are going to pick um the front pattern of the trouser the front part And I'm going to place this to see where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do next is to get my tape and I'm going to measure one and a half inches inwards and place one of it. And I'm also going to 
measure one and a half inches inwards from the other side and then what i have left i'm going to divide it into two and i'm going to mark it out then i'm going to place this at the center yeah so this is how it's going to be so what i want to do now is to take it up and then use my pin to hold it and take this one up too and use my pin to hold it i'm also going to do the same thing for this other one now i'm going to take this to the machine and i'm going to sew i'm going to sew remember we're sewing using half inch allowance so after sewing now this is what we have the next thing we're going to do is to run a top stitch on it so after running the top stitch we're going to get um the bottom part of the trouser and we're going to place this to match you're going to match the sides after matching it you're going to trace where each of the design is supposed to be and then you're going to use your pin to hold it down but in case you cannot trace it you can go ahead and remeasure whatever thing you measured for the other one and then you're going to place it there and then you're going to pin So after pinning it down, you're also going to, going to sew it and also top stitch. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I've sewn and I've top stitched, and this is what the inside is looking like. So if you have a fabric that frills, make sure that you weave it before you top stitch. Yeah, but because my fabric doesn't frill, I'm oh, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that um weaving part. So after doing that for the the front, I'm going to pick the back pattern of the trouser and I'm all, I'm going to make little adjustments. For the back pattern, I'm going to go in by 2 inches from the sides. This other side, I'm also going to take 2 inches. And I'm going to place this and use my pin to hold it down i'm also going to place this one for the other side and i'm going to use my pin to hold it down now i'm going to divide the center just like i did for the other one and whatever thing i have i'm going to measure it place the remaining design at the center and i'm going to use my pen to hold it down so after doing that i'm going to get the other one and i'm going to try as much as possible to match it just like i did for the front leg now i'm going to match it and then pin it down so after pinning it i'm going to take it to my machine and i'm going to sew after sewing i'm going to top stitch and that would be it for this design okay so this is what the back looks like i'm going to place this here and i'm going to get the second back and i'm also going to place this on top of it so the both of them are my back patterns so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew from this point that i'm pointing at I'm going to sew from there to I till I get to the edge of the crotch curve. I'm going to sew using half inch allowance. And after sewing, I'm going to leave this side open because that side is for my zipper allowance.
now while i work on the back pattern i'm also going to show you guys what i will be doing for the front pattern so now this is my front pattern on the table i've placed the both of them right side on each other on the table and i'm going to close the crotch area from the crotch point to the waistline i'm going to close it using half inch allowance so this is for the back pattern as you can see my zipper allowance is open i'm going to get my front pattern and i'm going to lay it on top of the back pattern right side facing each other this is what the front pattern looks like i'm going to lay it on top of the back pattern right side facing each other And then I'm going to close the sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and close all the sides using half inch allowance. You know, you're going to match your sides and you're going to close it using half inch allowance. After closing the sides, we're going to come here and we're going to close the center using the same half inch allowance. okay so now this is what it looks like i've closed everywhere and i've also gone ahead to hem the bottom so everywhere is closed now what we're going to do is to attach the trouser to the top and so we're going to be attaching this and then remember we're going to gather the waistline but while we gather the waistline what we're going to do is to match all the seams we're going to be matching the side seam of the trouser to the side seam of the top we're going to be matching the center of the trouser to the center of the top and that is how we're going to do it so whatever allowance we have after we've matched it that is what we're going to gather so i'm going to divide my top and i'm going to find the center and i'm going to be placing the center of my top and the center of my trouser together i'm going to use my pin to hold it down and then i'm going to be placing the side seam of my trouser and the sides of my top together and i'm going to use my pin to hold it down i'm also going to place the side seam of the other side to that to that of the top and i'm going to use my pin to hold it down and as you can see i'm having excesses here i'm having excesses here and these excesses are what i am going to gather okay so this is what it looks like after i gathered and yeah this is what i'm having the next thing i'm going to do is to add my zipper to it and that would be all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed watching and yes guys do give this video a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you and i'll see you in my next one